Hi, I'm Nick Hughes. I'm an astrologer and teacher. I've been working in this field for the last 10 years. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about various aspects of astrology. This is a guide to astrology and meditation. Uh, most people engage with astrology as an intellectual discipline, uh, as a kind of a left brain, uh, logical um, engagement with the subject by learning all the rules, learning all the meanings of all the planets and the stars. And by doing that, you can get a lot of information about um, the cosmos and about um, how astrology works. However, um, there is also a way of engaging with astrology which uses much more of the right brain, more of the intuition, more of the kind of feeling nature. And this is um, uh, connecting to the stars, connecting to the planets um, in a more meditative way. And by um, doing this, you're getting different types of information from the stars and the planets. You're, rather than um, logical words and um, structure, you're getting a more of the feeling of the essence of the planets. So for example, if you were to um, meditate on Venus, Venus is the planet of love, the planet of relationships. Uh, and by connecting in a meditative way to Venus, you may find um, um, a great understanding of what Venus does, but also your relationship to Venus. If there is any difficulties with Venus in your chart, you may get a sense of them in the body and in the emotions. And so um, rather than just understanding it uh, intellectually, uh, you can start feeling astrology in, in action as it actually takes place uh, within you. So for any uh, students of astrology, it's a very good thing to, to meditate on each planet individually, uh, as well as on, on each sign, and, and, may, and then uh, maybe write down some of the, the impressions that you get um, from um, meditating in, in such a way. Even just a few minutes of meditation on each sign and planet can actually enhance the left brain logical understanding uh, of of the, um, the sign or the planet in question and astrology as a whole and how it functions. And that's a guide to astrology and meditation.